Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today we are back behind the computer. We're talking about an editing plugin for Lightroom that I have been absolutely loving. I think you guys may know me as a Photoshop type of person, but recently I have also been trying to get into Lightroom as well. It feels a lot more streamlined. It's great for batch editing and I make a lot of selects from my shoots. So I will just be in Photoshop editing every single photo manually for the most part. And it just is becoming kind of unrealistic for my schedule because it takes takes up so much time and I'm not able to, you know, spend more time shooting, sharing, and doing kind of more of what I want to do. I also feel like Lightroom and Photoshop, they still have pretty similar interfaces. So Lightroom has been a go-to for me recently and also that plugin. And the name of it is Neuropix. And a huge thank you to them for working with me on this video. I am so excited to show you kind of how we can keep our same editing style, but just do it so much faster. So this plugin is an AI powered editing assistant that analyzes your personal style and how you edit and applies that look across your entire gallery in just a few minutes. So that way you can focus more on shooting and not just like sitting inside all day editing like I do, especially because here in New York, it's starting to get warmer. I want to be like outside exploring, kind of going on adventures and capturing all of that for you guys to see. That is like my favorite thing to do, especially as it's getting warmer. But Neuropix reduces your editing time in Lightroom by 90%. And Lightroom Classic is actually the only other program you're going to be needing to make this happen. Because Neuropix is a plugin, it kind of works inside Lightroom Classic to do its thing. So we're going to go ahead and open that up right now. So I have mine set to have Neuropix start up when I open Lightroom, but you can also go to library plugin extras and then play with Neuropix from here, which we're going to be doing for the majority of our editing today. So from here, we can go and choose to create a smart preset. And this is where we can start building our sort of unique edit based on some of my past Lightroom edits. So we're given two different options here. There is kickstart and regular creation. And with kickstart, we only need 20 past edits in Lightroom to create that smart preset. And then that's created and ready to use in 10 minutes. And then there is also so regular creation and this one creates a little bit more of an advanced sort of more in-depth preset that might be a little bit more accurate to your work because you can upload 500 plus of your edits for Neuropix to be able to study and create a really consistent look. And the really cool part about this plugin is that they also offer already existing smart presets made by other professional photographers that you can pull from and apply to your own photos. So maybe you're someone who hasn't yet created your own style for yourself and you want to sort of base yours off of someone else's. This is a great way to kind of do that. You'll get like a really professional polished look fast. So a great option. I also love things like this because it allows me to sort of step out of my comfort zone and apply a color grade to my photos that are a little bit different from my normal because you know, they're made by someone else. But today I'm going to be going with the Kickstarter option and create two completely different smart presets that will create two completely different looks. My first one will be based around a pretty clean sort of studio edit. So images and edits of mine that have a sort of sleek aesthetic that feel sort of like fresh. I definitely edit different kinds of images differently based off of what the photo is of. I feel like that's sort of just natural for us to do as photographers. Also, especially if the lighting is different or if the client is looking for something very specific. So I love this idea of sort of creating different smart presets for different looks, but I'm going to go ahead and select 20 edits that have this sort of studio look to them. And then in just minutes, we're going to receive a preset that we can apply to any photo and get that exact look all of these other photos have, unedited photos, which is super sick. And these smart presets have an edge over normal presets because they take into consideration what is individually happening in each photo you apply the preset to. The AI is also able to learn your own style of cropping and straightening, which no other competitors offer and something so simple as like zooming in and cropping into a composition can literally just change up the entire photo for the better but now that i've created my preset using those 20 different images i'm going to apply my preset to a totally new group of photos that have that sort of similar look to them. Maybe they were shot similarly or I used the same lighting, but just picking photos that relate to the photos that I chose the smart preset to be created from. So to do that, we're going to go to library, plugin extras, and then 
edit photos. And with those photos selected, we see that there is a few options for us to choose from now. We can name the project, choose our smart preset, and also choose whether we want Neuropix to do some more advanced retouching or maybe just something subtle. We also can decide if we want the plugin to rotate or crop the photos like I was saying, or both. And then from there, we just have the program start editing. So Neuropix edits a thousand photos per minute. So we are quite literally already done. And now we can already review how it did. So we're going to go to download edits and we got an email actually that says our photos have been successfully edited with that studio smart preset that we chose. Again, that was created from my own edits. It also says that we can download the slider values here directly in Lightroom or manually adjust the results and refine the smart preset. And so that way it can improve with every single shoot and every time you use it moving forward. Although a lot of these images were lit differently, like they're not the same necessarily model location or sometimes even lighting they just for me had like a similar vibe to them I feel like it did a really good job at taking into consideration what was happening in the photo and I don't think I need to here but if I wanted to I can go into specific photos individually that have that preset applied to them already and just continue to tweak them however I'd like so here is a little overview of how those edits turned out and now I want to do this one more time so create a smart preset from another batch of photos that I've already edited in Lightroom but this time I don't want it to be a sort Sort of clean edit that maybe cools up a warm photo. I want it to be more of a moody cinematic preset that can handle really bright colors and skin tones really well. So to create this preset, I selected 20 photos that had either really saturated colors or photos that were shot at night maybe. So once again, going through that same process to create that smart preset and then choosing a batch of photos to apply it to. And here are some before and afters of that one. And for this one, I love how this turned out. It feels really subtle as well, so something I could definitely build off of. And it quite literally corrects the colors and the temperature exactly how I would. I mean, it makes sense because it's basing these edits off of what I've done, but it's like I would normally do this, so it's just, it's crazy that it just cut that much time off of my process. And once again, this is only taken from 20 of my edits, so imagine what it could do if it studied like 500 of them. Now, before we finish this out, I want to try one of Neuropix's presets they have for us, crafted by other photographers and with this I also want to apply our own two presets that we just made in addition to the Neuropix preset onto the same photo to really show the differences across these various smart presets. So the Neuropix ones that they offer are Classic Depths, which is a black and white one, Eternal Essence, here's another black and white one called Gentle Mist. We have Luminous Dream and Vintage Sunbeam. I think for this edit, I feel like the name, I haven't tried any of these yet, but the name Luminous Dream sounds very much like my vibe. So let's go ahead and choose that and then apply our custom clean studio preset we made along with the moody one onto the same photo and we're all done. So the first one, again, is that studio preset. The second one is the moody one, and then the last one is Neuropix's Luminous Dream preset. And this one, Neuropix's, feels a little bright for my liking, so the best part is we can go in and customize it. So I'm just gonna go in and lower the exposure and the shadows, and that feels really great. And we walked away here with three completely unique edits on that same photo with just a few clicks. Also really quickly, as I'm editing this video, Neuropix just released a free beta feature for culling your photos. And I know I'm only editing sort of like 40 photos throughout this video, but if you're someone who shoots a lot of weddings or events and you have like thousands of photos to go through, this new feature from Neuropix will go through and detect certain things from your photos to make sure you're selecting the best ones. So it notices things like eye contact, smiles, if someone's eyes are open, it also picks the best photos from our group shot and this is just sort of the beginning for them they're going to be doing so much with it but even if you're not using Neuropix for editing this feature right now is completely free to use so yeah I just wanted to call that out really quickly and back to the video but yeah I am not sure I've ever ever edited anything this quickly so if you'd like to get Neuropix for yourself there's actually two different pricing options there's the flat rate option that gives you access to Neuropix 24 7 whenever you'd like like you saw me doing today 
Or there's also the pay per picture option. So if you only have Neuropix in mind to edit a certain shoot or gallery, that might be better for you. Also, if you're someone who's into editing black and white photos, you can create a black and white smart preset free of charge. And the best part is the entire time you're editing and working within the plugin, everything from your photos to your edits is secured. Neuropix owns the server, so it's all sort of internal and doesn't get leaked into the giant open AI world out there. But I hope you you guys all enjoyed this walkthrough of mirror pics and maybe are inspired to edit photos a little bit quicker like I did today. Speed things up so you're able to do more of the things within photography that you love. So if you're interested in mirror pics, I'll leave a link for you to download down below. And with that link, you'll receive 2,000 free images to start editing for yourself. So definitely give it a try, especially if you already edit in Lightroom and you have those 500 edited images already, you will be able to create a smart preset that like seriously looks exactly like how you edit or if you just want to go the route like I did today where you do the 20 edits you know from what you saw today you'll still get a great result so it's all up to you and again I hope you enjoyed and a huge thank you to Neuropix for working with me on this video with all of that I will see you guys very soon bye